hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today is a super exciting day for me because i'm taking you along on my very first day as a supernumerary midwife and i've been looking forward to this moment for so long and i can't wait to share this experience with you all and so let's not waste um any time and jump into it so by the way what i was saying in the previous video wasn't recorded i don't know for i don't know for whatever reason so yeah so please pardon my mouth movement okay actually i was showing you guys um my face routine like what i use on my face i think i was trying to tell you that i'll be using that particular face wash to wash my face because i've already had my bath and now i'm using the cleanser to clean my face and this is my face oil okay so after that i'll be applying my face cream on my face so i use the body shop um yeah i get my products from the body shop so it's it fits my skin or it works best for me so that's why i am using this and i've already known or i have known much about this body shop back home in nigeria because my sister used this particular product and so i think coming to the uk is, was like an opportunity for me to just keep using it or to just explore it hey guys so this is my life right now i'm going to work and it's raining so i'm working under the rain as i'm putting on this coat i'm actually going with my my guy like you know working in the same hospital so he's also working today guy guy how do you feel going to work with your wife <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel going to work with your wife on the same shift who not the same shift though? Disgrace yourself. You rubbish. So what kind of I don't work long days work. I work short and I come back to my house, you know. <laughs> you work I'm when I'm stressed, I get out for the heavy shift and you know rubbish. I beg don't mind him. Actually he works um eight to eight to when? Eight to six. Depends. Sometimes he goes seven to five thirty. Yeah, but today is going eight to um six. For me, I'm going for a very long day shift, 13 hour shift. I'll be going by 7.30 till 8.30. Yeah, so I'll see you guys later, okay? And here we are at the hospital where I'll be spending my day. The energy here is so amazing and I can't wait to see what's in store for me. Yeah, so this is the entrance to my ward. A few inches later mm, My people like Waking up so early coming to work wasn't easy for me. Okay, let me not lie I didn't eat I didn't have anything before I left the house So when I got to work and after handing over my in charge told me that for now There's nothing I can do like I should just sit down because there's nobody for her to pay me with at this time okay that i should just go and have um, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee ah so i was like okay let me use the opportunity to come and feel my tummy before um it will start getting busy so that's why i'm here trying to make my cup of tea and a toast my loves I know that you want to see more on my like more of my duty as a midwife but in as much as i want to create content for you uh, almost, i can't use my own discretion and common sense whenever i'm engaging in online discussion due to um social media i attributed digital content policy okay i won't be able to show you guys all that all right just hope you understand, okay? If you can relate, so much later, like that the old down, narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. <laughs> so, um, break. So, I came for my 30 minutes break to have my lunch. So, I'm microwaving the food I brought. Yeah. So, I'm yet to eat. And so far, it's been amazing. Like, it's been fine. 
I really have, I don't have much to say about it, but it's okay. Yeah. So this should be around two o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I was so hungry, but because I was so engrossed in my duties, I know even like so as soon as I had time, I had to come and like fill my tummy up because that tea and toast, whatever, when I just drop in the morning, like you know even with me. Yeah. So that's it, you guys. I know some people will be thinking now that eh, now this so food food they ch they chop. Oh, person gas chop oh, so I go see power they do it in to go do. I finish having my lunch and um, I want to keep my bag and I have about 15 minutes, so I'll just chill, chill a little and wait till. My 30 minutes break is over. So this is our changing room. Yeah, so that's it. That's it. Yeah. I'll just drop my phone and I will continue my duty. And you will probably see me in my next break or at the end of the day. And I will pick up this vlog when I'm going home. Probably when I'm running up. When I'm when I'm running up or trying to close this vlog okay all right until then stay blessed guys bye meanwhile six hours later okay another tea mm -hmm. some people with the talk now say eh talkers don't be british like you're not drinking tea yes yeah, sorry to bust your bubble yes i now take tea as a like yeah i'm now on my last break here yeah. so a few minutes to close later that same evening hi guys so i'm done with my 13 hour shift <laughs> i'm going home yeah so you can see it rained when I was leaving the house this morning and it's still raining while going back home. I don't know if this is a sign, but whatever sign it is, it's a good one. Yeah. Okay. So let me just run up this video by giving you guys a little bit of um, um, information okay so i'm on supernumerary so it's gonna be for three months that's 12 weeks um for this supernumerary period i'm not gonna be working alone so i'm going to be working with like working with a preceptor yeah because i'm on preceptor ship program for now yeah, so um, the meaning of the preceptorship is that you try to learn the way the hospital does their thing so you get accustomed. Like, it's a kind of advanced schooling. <laughs> I don't know if you know what I mean, and I hope I'm able to explain that right. Yeah, so during that period, I'm going for three months, which is 12 weeks, I'm going to be working with somebody. Yeah, so. And they're gonna sign me off for some things within that period so that after that 12 months or that period of time I will be confident and be able to do stuff on my own I'll be able to handle my woman on my own because for now I'm not going to be handling anybody alone yeah so that's one thing you have to know when you have plans of coming into the uk just know that yeah um you are not going to be working independently immediately you qualified or you are qualified as a midwife or you've passed your OSK and when you have your pain just know that yeah, you'll be working under somebody first it doesn't matter how experienced you are back home when you are here 
you have to uh, you have to come down a bit like come down and learn the system so for me i'm not in a hurry now nah, i'm not in a hurry so this period is just like a relaxation period for me where i have to learn things and um get accustomed to the system in, um like smoothly peacefully without any stress no rush you get so you in fact it's for me i find it interesting i find it because i'm not in a hurry to start doing things which i'm not so it's not like it's not like i'm not i don't know how to do those things okay but at least in fact i hope you understand what i'm trying to say so you don't get me wrong okay so let me end it there for now so guys let me also use this as a as a point or as a means of encouraging whoever it is who is still having that dream of coming to the uk to practice as a midwife because some people just feel that um even if that, that is not possible guys it's possible like just start the process it's not too late you can you can start it now okay whether you are here in the uk and you are still contemplating on whether you should start the process or not i'll tell you to start it whether you are back in nigeria thinking that it's not possible to come to the uk as only a single midwife or when you have i don't know because there are a lot of things people are asking me they're trying to tell me that it's not possible to come to the uk and me i'm already here like i'm practicing media free so i see the reason why you'll be telling me that it's not possible like you'll be asking me some kind of questions which i have answered numerous times okay so guys let me not make this video so long yeah so please if you like this video which i know you did please just subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed and okay and also like this video and share this video to any midwife you know okay i'm waiting for you guys to come and join me in this uk to practice me free here all right so until my next one guys stay blessed okay i'll see you guys later in my next video okay bye for now